What is up my Pokemon peeps, Marion here back with another Pokemon cards opening and today I'm excited to bring this video because I have been waiting for a cool minute for these to come in the mail. Took about a week for everything to come in but we finally got them and what I'm talking about is an assortment of Pokeballs. Now we did buy these from Costco. The first one we got is the one with the Ultra Ball, Dive Ball, and the regular Pokeball. Now each one of these sets does come with a Pokeball and then two unique balls. Then the second one we got is the Great Ball and Quick Ball. And now my favorite out of these three, right over here, the last one we got here is the Dust Ball and Premier Ball. So we're going to take these guys out of the packaging and then we'll open the tins from there. And I don't know, you guys, something about the packaging, the presentation here is what makes it look so cool. Like everything is so colorful. Uh, then each one of these packs or these bundles come with like different types of packaging. Like, look, you see that? It's every everything's like different and it's so vibrant. So I don't know. It's probably why I like it, but still, these make a really good display. All right, quick ball. Great ball, dive ball, ultra ball, pokeball again. All right, and my favorite one, premier ball. And this one actually has a dent on it, that sucks. Like I would assume the packaging on here would protect it from being damaged, but I guess not. It must've been damaged when they were putting these inside the cases. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, the dusk ball, then the last pokeball. All right, so everything's out of the packaging. We're gonna open this by each case. We're gonna do that great ball and quick ball first, but we gotta start off with that pokeball. Because there is one in every set, and uh, let's save the best for last. There we go. Wrapping is off, and let's open this. Now, we did buy these from Costco, and for me, it was $29.99 for a pack of three. But then I did see Lian's Heart video, and I thought we were going to be the first YouTubers to open the packs from Costco, but he beat me to it. But at the local Costco's, I believe they're going for $24.99, which is, you save $5, so that's a good deal. And each tin does come with three packs. We got Burning Shadows. Sun and Moon, and the Ultimate Evolutions. All right, and then we got a coin. Now this one is, I cannot tell who is this. Is it upside down? Oh, Volcanion, okay. I was gonna say it was Volcarona, but close enough in its name. Sadly, in order to buy these, you do need a Costco membership. And for myself, I don't even have one, so I had my girl buy them for me. But I mean, yeah, it's still a good deal if you buy them for $29.99. And we are gonna open these Oldest to newest, and Evolutions out of the three is the oldest. Now everybody, I do have an announcement to make, and I was gonna wait until I actually get everything up and running, but I just wanna give y'all the, the heads up, the sneak peek, because I am gonna be doing live openings on Twitch now, and we're gonna be doing breaks. Now I am gonna be leaving the link to my Twitch in the description, but right now I haven't had anything set up yet, like I'm still trying to learn the logistics of it, like getting your camera set up and having the software in your computer. Now because it's live breaks, I am gonna be selling packs, but the thing is, I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to sell them for retail price or as close as I could to retail price. Because the first set I am gonna be opening, or the first packs I'm gonna be opening is Burning Shadows, and you already know the resale values on that is like six to five dollars a pack. Relative to the side, and when I see people doing live breaks, they charge a thick premium, and some of the time you only get the 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 rare hits, so they keep the uncommons, the commons, and sometimes the reverse rare, and they're still charging around five dollars to six dollars a pack. But I think I'm gonna be able to charge four fifty. Maybe even $4 if I'm able to find some more Elite Trainer Boxes because that's where I am getting the packs from, from the Elite Trainer Boxes from Target. And I'm not going to be selling the Elite Trainer Box itself, just the packs inside because a lot of the shipping costs does come from the size and weight of that box. So only the packs, but I mean, but you guys can message me too if you guys want the Elite Trainer Box or not, then I'll probably add like a couple of dollars or something. All right, and we got the Reverse Charmander and a Arcanine non hollow. All right, and we got Sun and Moon. But I am going to be including my email in the description as well because I think I might be able to take pre-orders now. I am going to be posting this in the Verbank City Pokemart code card. So yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know first because I am trying to get a website set up as well. Oops, Mugahira to the side. But yeah, I'm going to try to get a web website up and running. But for now, I guess the only way I could sell packs is through like emails and whatnot. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit me with an email. I am trying to get a price set up first. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know. TBH, this is not even the official announcement because I still got a lot of stuff to set up. But yeah, if you're interested, hit me with an email. Caterpie, Paris, Young Goose, Shelter, Pokeball, and a Crab Bottom. Oh god, this guy really is an abomination. Guy is so ugly. Who would design my mans? Alright, last pack. And speaking of burning shadows, nice! And apparently, too, you can buy blister packs from Burlington for $9.99. If y'all can swoop that, that is a really good deal. Like, I wonder why they're taking all the uh, Burning Shadows inventory out. 
Like, did they just have a lot of back stock, or is there a reprint we don't know what's going on? Who knows, who knows? But we got the sidekick. We haven't had a hit yet. I've been talking too much, and I felt like... Yeah, I feel like every time I'm trying to talk in open packs, I just take a long time to open these guys up. Scalopede and a Alolan Ninetales. Not hollow, but I like the artwork on that. So we got nothing from that Pokeball. But it's all good. We got the Quick Ball next. So that means we're opening up a total of 27 packs? Is that is my math correct? If we have 9 balls times 3? Yep, 27 packs. 3. Or 9 of each set. Wrapping is off. And that means we have 9 chances to get a Zard from Evolutions. 9 chances to get that Charizard from Burning Shadows. And I don't really have a chase card for Sun and Moon. Quick ball to the side. Alright, oldest to newest, y'all. Let's get it. And the packs on here are so scrunched up. Like, if we get a big hit on here, I hope the card, or I hope the condition of that card is going to be okay. Alrighty, and let's see if the code cards are placed properly in all these tins. Alright, Onyx. Go to the side. One, two, three. Oh, I was going to say four, but not only three. And as I was saying before, two. I just watched Lean Heart's video. Oh, a flying Pikachu! I'm gonna put you aside because we're gonna sleeve you up, Haunter. And I was saying, I was watching Lean Heart's video, and I could have swore I was gonna be the first person to upload this because I go on Costco's website frequently for Pokemon drops because there was this one time they had the, they had the Ultra Prison Tims with the Ultra Nakarazma and Sagaleo for only 30 bucks. And, they, and it was a set of three of them. I forgot what the other tin was. But ever since then, because I lagged on buying it because I didn't really know how, how fast the stuff goes on Costco. If it's a good deal. And I feel like these ones are going to go fast too. Code card. Sand gas to the side. One, two, three. Oh, four. Okay. Sun and moon. I forget. We got psychic. We got charger bug. Rainbow energy. Krokorok. Caterpie. Skarmory. Morlulululul. Chinchow. Fromantis. Fomantis, not Fromantis. And Masquerine. I mean, you could call him Fromantis too. You see that? You got a tiny fro. Actually, no, I don't consider that a fro TBH. All right, and the pack we have all been waiting for, Burning Shadows. I am going to check my local Costco too to see if they have that price drop because here in the Bay Area, I think there it might be a premium or it could be because it's online and you don't pay for shipping when you buy it from Costco. So I think that's why it's $29 instead of $25 to cover shipping. Mudbray to the side. One, two, three, and a four. We got the Metal Saucer. Noctowl. And they also had that Gengar box too. And what I didn't know is that promo is actually a GX from another set or an EX. So it's not really a promo card. It's a card from actual, I think it was Furious Fist, I believe. I don't know, I forgot. Heracross. And as our rare, Vile Plume. Hello! Not bad, not bad. Burning Shadow Sleeves to accompany this. Maybe sleeving hollows is a waste of sleeves, but I don't know. I'm still gonna do it. All right, Flying Pikachu, I forgot about you. Like, I pulled this a couple times already, but I'm gonna sleeve every one I find. Because <laughs> it's cute. Now, I do want to plug this again because I feel like this trick right here is underrated. If you go to Dollar Tree and there's empty boxes, just go ahead and take the box and put your sleeves in here. Like, look, at you have easy access to whatever sleeves, because I used to just pile them up and I have to like go through the stack in order to find the sleeves I want. It just makes a mess, but I feel like this is really efficient. And we only had one hit from that quick ball and it was just a hollow too. So the pull rates aren't looking too hot and I was expecting more from evolutions too. We got the packs and look at the damage. Oh, primal clash. I wanted evolutions, but not bad. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. We don't open a lot of primal clash. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Papa took it. All right, this is probably gonna be the only Primal Clash we're gonna get from these tins, but let's see if we can get a hit out of it. And as of now, we only got one hit out of two tins, and I was expecting more. I don't know why. Oops. Y'all saw that? That was backwards, so I saw that green code card. A. Hey. And then Tangela, off to the side. One, two, three. It is three, because this is still X and Y. All right, we got the weakness policy. Dude, that is... Weakness policy and competitive play on the actual game is pretty OP. Like, I I just started playing competitive, like, when Sword and Shield came out. And all the uh, attachments and all the items, too. I did not know they could be so useful. Meryl, escape rope and A. <gasps> Kyogre EX, full art, bro. This is Fuego. We were just talking about not getting enough hits. But here comes Kyogre to the rescue. And this is the only 
Primal Clash Pack too. Oops, wrong sleeve. All right, we got that Blast Toy sleeve from Evolutions, and it's gonna match with it. Blue on blue. And look at that beauty. Now, I believe that might have been our first Primal Clash opening. I'm not too sure. I have to go through my other videos. But if that is the case, we're one for one. And it was a full art, not even a regular EX. And we still got two more packs from this tin. So, a. Hey. Let's see if we can go three for three. All right, code card is back to normal. Wild Zubat. I'm gonna use Repel. Put you to the side. One, two, three, and a four. All right, we got the Hot Fuego. We got the Toro Cats, Rainbow Energy, Trumbeak, Grubbin' Grubbin' Away, Growlithe, being a good boy, Poplio, Wingle, Crab Brawler, and a Polyrath Hollow. All right, it looks like we might get a perfect thing here. Go, one more pack. I'm telling y'all, can we get a perfect tin? Come on, come on, come on. And burning Shadows and those terrible pull rates, I swear. Our horn to the side. All right, four to the front. We got the Agua, Simisage, Tormenting Spray, Whirlpeed, Hoot Hoot, Meryl, Porygon, Charmander, always being so sad, and a Toxic Croak non hollow. <laughs> Alright, so the pull rate on that case was not, or 4 out of 9, which is almost 50%, but I mean, there most of them were hollows, but we did get that full art. And I'm trying to find the other set. Alright, here we go, here we go. We got the Pokeball. And the next set we're going to open is the Dive Ball and Ultra Ball one. Alright, let's see if we can get another Primal Clash ready. And surprise, I believe this is... Oh, regular Sun and Moon. And Evolutions, again, not bad. I don't mind it. Starting off with Evolutions. And that last tin we got was pretty fuego too. Like, half of the hits from the whole case was from that... What was that, Great Ball? What was... Yeah, it was the Great Ball, I believe. I'm already forgetting, y'all. We got Drowsy. We still... Have yet to get a hit from Evolutions. Like, we did get that Flying Pikachu, but it's not a rare. It's not a break card. It's not a full art or anything like that. Okay, three. All right. Switching it up with Switch. Blastoise, Spirit Link, Energy Retrieval, Elect the Buzz, Vulpix, Sand True, Onyx. Ooh, Reverse Raichu. I would consider this a rare. Oh, it is a rare. What am I talking about? And a Dugtrio. What I meant to say is consider this a hit. Sun and Moon base set. Y'all, can someone tell me too what's the chase card for Sun and Moon base set? Like, I know they have hyper rares in there. But what hyper rares? The only one I remember is Gumshoe. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. This one was really damaged. One, two, three, and a four. And let's see if the rare was damaged. Nope. Alright, we're safe. We're safe. Even though we're probably not going to pull anything. Darkness Ablaze. How are you doing? Wishy Washy. Raticate. Alolan Raticate. Eating real good because he's so chubby. More lul 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 side duck. Oh, I like this side duck. And a Bruxious. Not hollow. Back at it again. Burning Shadows. Last pack of this tin. But first Burning Shadows of the whole set. Or the whole box. Alrighty. Grammar off to the side. One, two, three, and a four. Alrighty. We got the Fuego. Now the hit ratio or the pull rate on Burning Shadows. I just want one GX. Like the initials for Burning Shadows is exactly what the pull rate is. BS. And beware. Beware of the bad pull rates. All right, we got one hit out of that tin, but technically was not a hit because it was a reverse. All right, and we got the dive ball. All right, we got it out that wrapper. And out of all the Pokeballs too, I think this is my second favorite ball, the dive ball. My first one does go to the Premier Ball, just because it looks so... I was gonna say bougie, but no, nah, not bougie, it looks elegant, you know? Like, very modern, minimalistic. I like that. I like that aesthetic. Are we ever gonna get a different coin from Volcanion? At this rate, if we get a different coin, I'll consider that a hit as well. Alright, the Charizard Pack Art. Come on, come on, Evolutions, you're failing us lately. Alright, and the code card is placed properly. That's for y'all. The Magnemite. Magnetize to the side. One, two, three. No four. Switching it up. Coughing. Not coughing, but farting. Because all the gas is coming out of him. Revive. Energy. Growlithe. Machop. Voltorb. Nidorina. Or Nidorina. Nidorina. Nidoran. There you go. That's how you say it. And a. Ooh. Pidgeot EX. Not bad. Not bad. 
Sun and Moon Base. And we got Marini creeping up in everybody. This reminds me of the Darkness of Blaze Marini, where you're creeping up on, uh, what you call it? Corsola. There you go. Go ahead and creep off to the side. One, two, three, and four. We got the Leaf, Steeny, Herider, Charger Bug. Crab Brawler, Growlithe, Surskip, Fomantis with the Fro, Alolan Muck, Reverse Rare, okay, and a. Ooh, Gumshoes GX! We were just talking about you, bro! You and your. Mo oh. Bulka? Or Mullet? No, this is a Bulka, right? Alright, this Dive Ball is looking good, y'all. We got it 2 for 2 right now. And let's hit it with 3 for 3. But with Burning Shadows, that is probably not possible. But just give us one GX, come on. That's all we're asking for. It's not even that much. Maybe a hollow. But there's no specific hollow I'm looking for for Burning Shadow, so. Like, I know for Darkness Ablaze, I want to get that Lugia hollow. Right horn to the side. One, two, three, four. Oof, we got the fairy. We got the right on. We got the electric. Buffalant. Riolu. Cutie Fly. Tynamo. Duskull. Ooh, Zygarde Reverse Rare. Ooh, I like this. Alright, I'll consider this a hit and a. Lydian, okay, but look at this Zygarde. I did not know you're in that set. That is epic. All right, and we got it with the Burning Shadow Sleeve to go along with it, but look at that. You can't tell me this guy does not look like Cell in his perfect form. Come on. That's probably why I like that card. All right, I'll consider that a perfect tin, but out of that whole case, I think that was... Uh... Oh, wait, no, we have one more ball in that case, and it's the Ultra Ball. So right now, I think we're hitting a good ratio. All right, we're going to end it off with Burning Shadows, Evolutions again, and Sun and Moon. All right. No Primal Clash. God dang it, we we're very close. Yeah, it looks like for these Costco packs and like tins, there's like a lot of manufacturing errors, you could say? Because if y'all didn't watch Leonhardt's video, he had an Evolutions pack that had Sun and Moon Base or the Switch It Around. I think it was uh, Sun and Moon Base with Evolution cards in it. And I don't know how that even happens. Like, yeah, it makes sense to put a different pack in a tin or in a collection box. But to switch up the cards inside a pack itself, that's... That's something else, man. One, two, three. Alright. Determination. Revive. Honta. Vulpix. Needle Ran. Ponyta. Pikachu. Needle Reno. And a... Oof. Electro non Hollow. Sun and Moon Base. Oh, Marini again for our first common. card to the side marina one two three and a four the fuego the poly whirl steeny heritor dupider or dupiter how do you guys pronounce that one paris alone ratata oh and then server okay oh the ratata was the reverse hollow i didn't notice because it was a dark energy one and the dark energies kind of blend in like, you can't really see the reverse hollow on that. Alright, this tin is looking like a dud. But let's see if BS, Burning Shadows, can stop with the BS and give us a hit already. Come on. Off to the side. One, two, three, and a four. We got the Psychic, the All-Knowing Eye, Weakness Policy, Heat More, Curlia, Noibat, Stuffle, Mudbray, Tynamo, Escape Rope, and a... Oof! Toxic Croak, non hollow. All right, we're saving best for last. All right, we got the Dusty Ball and Premier Ball, but we gotta go through this Pokeball first in order to get to those ones. All right, Evolutions. Give me that Zard. I don't even think we pulled a regular Zard EX yet. Diglett to the side. One, two, and a three. Full heal. Porygon. Pokedex, Rattata, Charmander, Light and Wildfire is over here. Pikachu, reverse, and a eradicate. But I like the reverse energy. All right, base set, sun and moon. Oh, I like this Eevee. Look at the artwork on this. It's so derp, kind of derp, but it's cute. I like, I like. If we can get that in reverse, I would be really happy. Eevee to the side. One, two, and a three with a four. Agua. Heritor, Charger Bug, Poison Barb, Pick a Peck, 
Lolling Meowth, Sandile, Crab Brawler, uh, Reverse Hypno, it's all good. And we got a Beware. Dang it. Our last pack, Burning Shadows for this tin. And it looks like this tin is going to be a dud too. Alrighty. Code card for y'all. Crab Brawler, Brawl it off to the side. One, two, three, with a four. Okay, okay, okay. We got Leaf. Heat more. Weakness policy again. Po Town. Charmander. Sneasel. Alolan Grimer. Now, I believe this is almost like the same artwork as the Grimer in Darkness Ablaze. Like, look, his hands reaching out and everything. Ralts. Oldish. And a. Ooh, ooh, Charizard! Talking about not pulling a Charizard. And that one was upside down, too. And y'all, this might be a miscut. You see how much border is on this side? I believe this should be a miscut. Okay, like the back is looking decent. Actually, no. I don't know. What do y'all think? Is this a miscut? It's looking dope though. Like, I don't think this would get a PSA 10 or anything like that. Cause the look at the edges. Let me show y'all before I put in the sleeve. I don't know if the camera's picking it up well, but it, it looks like it's got a little bit of damage, some edge wear. It's all good. And we got the dusk ball. All right, wrapping is off. And look at this. Now I believe this is the most recent ball to be released, right? And it's surprising too that they come with these type of packs because since this is the newest Pokeball. I thought they were going to include like a base set of Burning Shadows or something, or not base set of Burning Shadows, base set Sword and Shield. So I'm not too sure why they went with these older packs. And when you buy these from like Target and too, whatnot, just like your regular stores, does it come with these same packs? I forget, I forget. And I believe, oh, we have Primal Clash again. Dang, they treating us out. Now I bet you this is going to have a hit. It must. I don't know why I feel like there's going to be a hit in here. Like every time they give us a Primal Clash, I mean every time, they only give us one, but still. Let's see. <gasps> uh oh, I did the card trick wrong because the code card was put in backwards. But y'all already saw that, I'm telling y'all, this is going to be a good one. Or fish off to the side. Now if we can get one of the legendary trios in a full art, or another one, because we got Kyogre already. Let's get that Rayquaza, Rayquaza, or the Groudon. Tynamo, Weedle, Barbuch. Oh, Ooh, I like this one. Special energy and a Azur Meryl. This is the rare. I guess this is considered a hit, right? Huh? Y'all, they fooled us with that code card. You know, because Primal Clash is older than Evolutions, maybe every code is a white code back then? Alright, Source Kid off to the side. Psych. Oh, JK, we, we are completely off base right now. Hold on, hold on. Alright, let's get back in the groove. One, two, three, and a four. Like, is it really an opening unless I mess up a card trick at least once? I don't think I have a single video where I do the card trick right in the entire thing. So maybe that should be a challenge for me, huh? Like every time I do the card trick wrong, I'll do like a giveaway or something. All right, nothing in that last pack, but you know, Burning Shadows, maybe you can redeem yourself again. Oops, I opened it the wrong way. Now something about Burning Shadows and putting their hits upside down. That's so funny. The quality back then of these cards and their packaging was not the greatest. Alolan Vulpix to the side. One, two, three. Let's keep it to that number. Oh, wait, no, four. JK, JK. We got the Metal Saucer. Luna Tune. Cedra. Charmeleon. Horsey. Noibat. Alolan Grimer. Riolu. Krogonk Reverse and a. Ouch. Malamar non hollow. So that tin was a dud, but we got the last ball, saving the best for last. And it just sucks too, because this is my favorite ball, but it's the only ball here that got dented. And look at that beauty. Okay, ignore the dimple, but here, look at that beauty. Ooh. There you go, that looks a little bit better. Alrighty, last tin. Because that last tin didn't have anything, so maybe this premiere ball can show us out. And the packs, of course, are ugly. Come on, Evolutions, you barely got us any hits. Let me get a Charizard, come on, man. Last Evolutions pack. Last tin, last everything. Come on, come on. Let's get it going. We got another Onyx in the front as our first common. Like, my man's only level 12, but he has 100 HP. Like, did anyone ever notice that? This guy's kind of strong. Code card for y'all. All right, Onyx. Off to the side. We got one. We got two. And we got three. Alrighty. Coughing, not coughing. Misty Determination. Revive. Weedle. Come on, last pack magic, last tin magic, Vulpix, reverse seal, and a 
Ooh, I like this one. Hollow Machamp. Nice, nice. Very, very reminiscent of that first edition Machamp that everyone has. All right, we starting off this tin strong. Hey, my little man, Tagadomaru. Go card. All right, Tagadomaru to the side. We got one, two, three, and a four. Take it back now, y'all. Psychic energy this time. Metapod, Team Skull, Grunt, Shelder, Makuhita, Pharaoh, Grubbin. Ooh, Cosmos Reverse. I like this. And a. Ooh, Decidueye. We haven't pulled Decidueye yet. Y'all gotta bring in that luck right now. Last pack magic for the last tin. And we're ending off with Burning Shadows on top of that. But look at that. That one disintegrated. Code card. All right, pants here. Off to the side. Last pack magic. Let's get it. Let's get it. One, two, three, and a four. Legend has it. You could pull a Zard in these tins. I'm just kidding. I don't know where I got that information. I'm spitting BS right now. Spitting BS for BS. Mud Bray, Alolan Rattata, Pan Poor, Orsi, Reverse, and a. Ooh, Malamar. But let's hit it with the recap. All right, so we're gonna start off with the lowest rarity here. We got that secret rare that isn't even so secret. Flying Pikachu, still a cute card though. And we got the reverse rares right after that. A Zygarde reverse is a beautiful card though. I love the artwork. We got reverse right, you're not special there. And then we got the regular hollows. Polyrath, ain't nothing special. Vileplume, you ain't nothing special either. My champ. You kind of special, but not really. Cause these guys in the back, ooh, we had that Pidgeot EX. Charizard GX, probably one of my favorite hits. Gumshoes, least favorite hit. <laughs> and my, no, no, this one takes the cake for my favorite hit. Look at that beauty, Kai Yogurt EX full art. So we got a total of 10 hits out of 27 packs. So that kind of goes with the odds of like a regular booster box. So that about wraps it up for this video. If you guys are able to get these for $25 at your local Costco, I would recommend it. These are fun to open. You get the tin too, but y'all already know what to do. Hit that like, sub, and that notification bell if you guys are looking for these cards right over here. See these guys, code cards? Yeah, if you're looking for him, hit that notification bell so you can beat everyone else to the video, all right? And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.